Bubble Pop Kids here. Did a tiny bit of beauty shopping. Found so many cute little things. Cannot wait to show you. Had a crazy mix of beauty going on here. Everything from lip balms, lip gloss. Ooh, I even found this lipstick. It's so, so pretty. We got some frozen spray. Look at this one. Lollipop lip balm. And to get you in the Halloween mood, because it's coming up super quick, we have the Halloween Complete Cosmetic Set. Look at this. I saw this little box. I seriously couldn't believe it. It looks like a box of candy. It's got all the Halloween colors, two lip balms. We get a nail polish, eyeshadow, and some lashes. Whoa. Well, I love my shopkeys. I found a poppy corn hand sanitized. So, so cute. I'm not getting the great color. They could have made it a little brighter, but look at that picture. It's kind of 3D. It's like popping out, and I'm not even sure what the flavor or scent is. Find out later. Whoop. Found another yo-yo lip gloss, and this one has a cute little stuffed animal on the top. Kind of looks like a squishy. Look at that face. Retractable called a Bear Pal and Bubblegum Flavor. Found a couple more of those little dollar lippies. I cannot believe they're only a buck. I found Blueberry Cob, Apple Cinnamon, perfect for fall, and Vanilla Bean Frappe. Yummy. Oop, and I even found some Nerds. These little lip gloss sticks. I think I have these, but maybe not in these flavors. It looks like lemon and grape. Had to do it! I had to find some more Shopkin Chef Club Season 6. We're going to get two new ones for the collection. I also found one of these today, an EOS Shimmer Lip Balm Sphere. I've never seen one like these. I'm not even sure how the balm comes out of there. Looks crazy. And the final little beauty treat we're going to be looking at are the Moisturizing Lip Masks with 24k gold if you're not familiar with like a lip mask they're kind of like these jelly things kind of stretchy and you pop them on your lips you leave them on there for a few minutes and as soon as you take them off your lips are hydrated they're smooth they feel really good and me i wear lip gloss and lipstick all the time so it's nice to have these refresh my lippies a little bit take a close look at everything Almost forgot! On my way home, I stopped at the Dollar Tree to get another one of these little organizer thingies. I love them. They're super cheap. One buck. I'm going to organize all these new things. Here we go. Taking off the shelf with some Halloween beauty. <laughs> How cute is this? I love this little box. It looks like candy should be in here. Two lippies. We get a nail polish. I thought this was eyeshadow, but it actually says body glitter. And some fake lashes open it up. Get two cuties out of the pack and these are the lippies. Candy corn and pumpkin pie flavored. I didn't even realize that. They have kind of strange colors. It's kind of like a goldish yellow for the pumpkin. The jack-o'-lantern is kind of like this bronzy, goldy color. I really like both of them. Ah! Time to smell. The first for everything, and I definitely think these are my first Halloween lip glosses. I do not have any in my collection, and yesterday when I was out shopping, I found a lot of them. So I'm going to have them on some upcoming shows. Look at that little pumpkin. So curious what the color is going to be. Wow. <laughs> it looks so cool. It's really shiny. It almost looks like gold. Ah, it smells so good, too. Smells like a fresh candy corn. It really, really smells like candy. It's got kind of that corn syrup scent or marshmallow, but I am just amazed at this color. Love that. Moving on to some pumpkin pie. Yes, yeah, such a cute little container. I love the black cap. It matches that jack-o'-lantern face. It's just too cute all around. Whoa, look at that. It kind of looks like goldish in the container, but on your lips or on your body, it's like an orange gold. Oh, this smells even better. <laughs> it doesn't smell like pumpkin pie though. It smells like candy. Beautiful! Kind of looks like a bronzer lip gloss. Not too orange, a little more on the goldish side. I really, really love it. I like this scent a little bit more. I think I like this color a little bit more. Cool. We get a little body glitter and I'm loving the Halloween colors. We get the orange and the green and how cute is that? It's got a little spider web on there. 
perfect if you're going as like a witch. Oh, look at that. Too, too much shimmer in there. I love it. I love it so, so much. Not something you would wear on an everyday basis, but for Halloween, it is perfect. Ooh, look at that. It kind of has like a clear lip balm feel to it with a bunch of glitter mixed in. Super, super smooth. So there's your green, really nice. I love that. I think you can even put a little bit of this on your eyelid, put some on your cheeks. And for the orange. Whoa, <laughs> look how bright that orange is. Unbelievable, I absolutely love these. I wasn't too sure how they were gonna be. Sometimes these creamy glitter ones are not too bright but this is so bright. It's got a lot, a lot of shine in it. And it's got a little spidey web. Not many lip gloss nail polish kits ever come with these fake lashes. I was so impressed with this. And I don't, I don't know, I rarely wear them, but maybe to weddings or like a party, some big event, because they're kind of annoying. They're hard to put on. Let me just try to take this off and give you a close up. Ooh, it's got the adhesive on already, kind of like a sticker. And they are so nice. They're kind of real looking. Ooh, I like these. These look real. They're not too long, not too crazy looking. They have like this feathered lash. I think I'm gonna wear these. I might just wear them for Halloween. Good ones. And how many people can see they have an orange nail polish bottle that says trick or treat. This is just too, too cute for words. I love it. Kind of a small bottle, but it doesn't even matter. It's just so, so festive. Perfect for Halloween. Test out the color. Some pretty Barbie pink with sparkle nail polish on today. It actually is. It's a Barbie pink color. That's the name of it. So I'm going to put it on some lined paper like I always do. Woo! Look at that color. It is so, so perfect. It's kind of like a yellowish orange. Reminds me of candy corn. Really nice. It's super glossy. I did not expect this little bottle in that beauty set to be so good. I actually think I'm wearing that tomorrow. <laughs> I may even wear it for Halloween. There it is. All together, my first Ev Halloween beauty set. I really loved it. Cutest thing ever. I love the lashes. They were really, really realistic. Super light, I love the color. Nail polish. Lip glosses were awesome. Really nice color. They smelled like candy and the glitter. And I'd love it for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of all this stuff, what was your fave? Moving on from Halloween to Disney Frozen. How cute is this? It's a body glitter spray. It's this beautiful blue tube. And I actually haven't done Frozen or Princess makeup in a while. <laughs> love that pic. Look how cute it is. It's like a perfect little mini travel bottle. I love my glitter body spray. I use it all the time. Ooh, even better. Cotton candy scented. Yes. Ooh, and I love it. So, so tiny. Really perfect for traveling. And look at all the glitter. It kind of looks like a glitzy globe in there. I think right now I'm starting a body spray collection. I must have like a hundred, even more. Add this to it. I love them. I spray them all day. Oh, that smells good. Woo! Love it! Did not expect this to be so good. It's got the cotton candy scent. It's got a little bit of a floral flower scent. Really is the perfect combo. I love it too, too much. I think when I'm going to Disney World soon, I'm going to bring it <laughs> and just give myself a little spritz. Super sweet smelling. Look at the twinkle. My arm is going to be twinkling away. And the more I smell it, it even has like a little pineapple scent, a little bit tropical. The best. Ooh, this is a goodie. I actually picked it up this morning. I was at CVS Pharmacy. I was checking out and I saw this on the counter. I couldn't believe it because they've been out for a while, but I haven't seen one. EOS Shimmer Lip Balm Sphere. <laughs> it looks like a little UFO. It looks so weird. Open it up. Definitely not the Tradish EOS. Looks completely different. I am just loving it. And I think it's like a pink shimmery color. Hmm. Hey guys, 
guys, I am super crazy. I don't know what I was thinking because I've never had one of these. I was thinking that this was the actual lip gloss and that you kind of twisted it and it came up through these little holes. Not at all. It's <laughs> just like a regular EOS. That is just the cap. It's like a little decoy. I was thinking it was gonna be so cool. It was like a little twisty one, but nope, it's just regular. But I am in love with this color. Look at this, EOS. It's got the same shape, but it's so, so shimmery. It's got a million sparkles in there. It's kind of like a light pink color, and it does give off some sort of tint. Can't really see it. I can see it on my finger. I'm not sure. It's kind of like a pearly color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I absolutely love it. So much different than the regular EOS's. Those are kind of plain. Gotta get more of these. a bunch of different beauty prods on this last shopping trip, but most of them were definitely lippy ones. And this one here is, it, well, it says lip balm, but it does not look like one. It looks like a pure fuchsia or like a hot pink lipstick. And I love the shape on this. Yes, that is the color I am talking about. I love it, I love it so, so much. I mean, it doesn't look like any lip balm I'm familiar with but it is beautiful. It's got this rich color, super glossy, very blendable, perfect pink. I'm also loving this pretty little container. It's kind of a tall and thin lipstick or lip balm, whatever they're calling it. Super cute. Shuffa shuffa time! We gotta take a little beauty break and open some little chef clubs open in a lot of these lately and for some reason I don't know why the chef club season six reminds me of season one just the little food characters and the colors and season one was my fave oh look at that little one see that reminds me of Tommy ketchup I don't know what that's supposed to be but they resemble them too too much Slices. And I almost missed it. A little recipe card popped out of there. Natalie noodles. Ooh. <laughs> that looks kind of weird. It looks like some noodles with mushroom. Honey soy noodles. This takes five different ingredients. Nina noodles, Bethany Brock, Sam soy, button mushroom, and runny honey. And I think out of all of these, I have these three. Missing the broccoli and the noodles. So, so cute. Please don't get a duplicate. Don't get a duplicate. I cannot stand those. I'm trying to do good with this season. <gasps> I got a duplicate. Now I got two little Wilbur whipped cream twins. Look at these. They're actually kind of different shades. This one's a little more purple. This is on the whiter side. Little twinsies. For the second one, I already got a dupe, so I'm thinking it's not gonna be one. Cross my fingers. Oh, it's not. What is this? Found it, definitely a new one. And if you want to make some lemon and honey tea, we have Herb L tea bag. That is the cutest. I think this is like the first little shopkey tea bag they made. Oh, I love that little curly string. I love the lips. A new little cutie pie to add to the collection. We got a duplicate whipped cream can and a tea bag. Woo! And I love this one. I love the lips. I'm still in my shopkey zone. We have this one. Have you ever seen a cuter little hand sanitizer? got poppy corn on there and actually I think the gray was a good choice because it makes this color pop out. Looks 3D. I love this one because it's got this little hook you can hang it from your backpack or your purse. Always good to have a hand sanitizer at hand. Kill the bacteria and germs. And I don't know what the scent is on here. Hmm. It's a clear little tube. <laughs> Kind of strange. Whoa, wouldn't it be awesome if it was like popcorn scented? You never know what these, they have so many different flavors. Check it out, let's pop it back in. Ah! Ooh, it's 
like jelly. It's like a little jellyfish. Ah, smells so good. It definitely isn't popcorn scented, but it smells like flowers. It smells like perfume. And I think it has a little tiny scent of like soap. But I love it. They have other characters. I gotta get more of these. Make a little hand sanitized collection. <laughs> They're so cute. So good. Moving on to Madala lip balms. Yes, these are awesome. And I have to say, I am a little bit confused. They kind of look like those Yankee candles. But then at the same time, maybe they're just like a jar of something. If you guys know what these are supposed to be, I'd love for you to leave me a comment because I keep calling them candles, but I don't know if that's what they are. So the first one up, we got some apple cinnamon. Yes, <laughs> I love apple cinnamon body spray, but I don't think I have a lip balm in that flavor. Oh, look at this. Little doll accessory. Look at the detail of this teeny weeny little jar. I'm just in love with it. I don't know if it's supposed to be a candle or like a jar of jam. It's got that little metal lid. It's like a mason jar. Give it a smell. And there is nothing better in the fall than the smell of fresh cinnamon app. I love it. I love it too much. Ooh, and this is super red. It looks like it's going to have a little tint or color to it. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I am like blown away. Probably like the biggest surprise of the day. I thought this was just going to be a dry, regular old lip balm. No way. It's like the glossiest, almost like a creamy lipstick super shiny and to tell you the truth it reminds me of a candy apple it's got that glow oh, it smells so good it smells like apple pie love it how could you beat the color in this little jar pop that in my purse and the next one up is in the exact same jar but it is a different flavor altogether blueberry cob and <laughs> blueberry cobbler I cannot even believe it such a comfort food oh, I love it jar oh it's so so cute I love it too much it's got the blue in there I think the red was a little cuter just a little brighter here is your balm ooh it's kind of like a purplish blue tons of sparkle in there I think this one oh no this one had a little spark too test it out this one is filled though look at all those little silver sparks ah it's stuck What's going on Alrighty, so when I tested the red, it had this mega color to it. I don't know if this is going to have too much color. Uh, <laughs> blue lip. Blue lip, anyone? Oh, this smells so good. Not as good as apple cinnamon, but it smells like blueberries. I kind of smell the pie, too. It's a little creamy and buttery. Not crazy about the lip shade. Oh, it's really good, though. I actually love that they have color. And not get over the glitter in that. I love these. There you are, your two little lip balm jars, little fruity jars, and <laughs> nothing gets cuter than this. The only problem is the blue kind of stained my hand. I cannot get that off. Still love them. Look what the cat dragged in. We looked at two of those dollar bombs. I got three more packs here. I couldn't even believe it. There were two of these for a buck, two nerds ones for a dollar. And I even found a dollar vanilla bean frappe. Ooh, super fancy. I opened a couple of these the other day. I think it was like a mocha frappe and like a pumpkin spice. So curious about the vanilla. Let's open this one first. Look at this, you guys. I mean, do lip balms get cuter? I thought the little jars were cute, but this little coffee frappe mug looks like a Starbucks drink. Ooh, there's the color. Looks like white chocolate in there. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I always wonder, because I'm like testing every lip balm in the world, do they get this? 
this smells exactly like a Starbucks frappe. It's got a vanilla scent, creamy caramel scent, but it also has like a coffee espresso taste to it. Oh, I could smell that all day. It's too good. It's making me want one right now. Gotta run out to Starbucks. The only thing that would have made this a little cuter is if they put a little green straw. That would just be awesome. I think I would just melt. I cannot take it. Slippies are the taste pops. Look at that. Oh, little lollipops. This one here is reminding me too much, obviously, of like a Claire's Pucker Pop. Although a Pucker Pop is never a buck, we get this little clear lollipop. Raspberry and grape flavored gloss. Check them out. First one, I am in love with this. Look how adorable. Little lollipop stick. Flips open. It's got that sparkle gloss. I'm pretty sure it's clear. Ooh, it has a little tint to it. Wow, this looks horrible. I cannot get that blueberry cob off of my hand. Gotta scrub it off later, but just to show you, it has a pinkish tint to it. It's super pretty. Oh, it smells so good. It seriously does. It smells like a blue pop or like a Tootsie Pop. It's got that candy scent. I think you can see the color a little better here. Pinkish tint, tons of sparkle, it's super moisturizing. And for a dollar to get two of these, it's like unreal. Love it. This one must be the grape flavor. Ooh, I love it. It's exactly like a Pucker Pop. It's got that same glossy shine in there. Oh, it smells good, not as good as this one. Kind of plain, not too great. But I do love that color. And of course, it's just clear. It doesn't come off purple. Too good. Your final dollar lip balm pack. It's so cool to find these because sometimes the lip balms can be kind of expensive. We get your rainbow nerds. Ooh, lightning lemon and grape. Oh, look at those little nerdies jumping around. I love my candy bombs. Lightning lemon and grape. These definitely are not going to have any color to them, but I'm sure they're going to smell good. And I love those little caps. They have candy pictures. Ooh. Grapey scent to it. Nothing special. Doesn't exactly smell like nerds. But I just love this cute little case here. And for the limon. Ooh! <laughs> Burn my nose. This one is super, super lemony. Really sweet and tarty. It smells a lot better. No color to it. Classic candy ones. You can never go wrong with the Yo-Yo Lip Balm. Here it is, retractable. I opened a couple of these the other day. They had these cute little charmies, but this one has a little squishy face. Look at this little bear. Sparkly ears. Kind of reminds me of a Beanie Babe. one here is kind of different than the other ones. It's got like a little hanger clip instead of those plastic ones. Bubblegum flame, yes. And most of these, these yo-yo lip balm ones that I have at least, a lot of them are bubblegum flavor. I don't know why. My hand is going to be blue for like a week. What's going on with that? Probably my 10th different yo-yo lip balm. I think it is my fave. Look at this, you guys. This cute little face. It really, really does look like a Beanie Baby. I can't believe it's not. It's got these little zebra stripes. Sparkle ears. I just want to squish it. It's got that little hanger clip. Hang it from your backpack or wherever. And the retractable part. So super cute. Called the Bear Pals. Another thing that's amazing about this is look at that lipstick color. It's lip balm. It looks like a lipstick. Looks like it's going to be pretty clear, like a plain old lip balm. Oh, but the smell, <laughs> the smell is amazing. The lip balm's bubblegum scent is probably one of the top like five lip balm scents ever. They are so good. It's got this kind of like um, bubble yum original flavor. Too, too good for words. I always use these. I keep them in my purse and I use them. Bear Pals. 
On to the final beauty product of the video before we pop out my Dollar Tree organizer and put all this stuff in here, kind of fix it up a little. Look at these. Either way, can I do a red mask for 24K gold? What? Ooh, we get five of them. It's gel that for moisturized and repair damaged lips. It's infused with collagen, vitamins, and minerals for lips that feel great and look plump. This is exactly what I need right now because the fall is coming. A couple of these days have been super cold. My lips are getting dry and sometimes when I overuse lip balm or lipstick, my lips get even worse. So I am in like desperate need of these. And why not go with the gold ones? I've never heard of anything like that. Pop this open. and these are perfect. They're individually wrapped, which is really good so they don't dry out because lip masks, I've never tried one of these, but they have kind of this serum on there. Oh, I cannot wait to see this. Eww, looks like a little squishy. This looks like 24 karat gold. It looks like spear gold most beautiful color ever. Kind of feels like slime. So basically what you do with this thing, you just pop it on your lips. Oh, it smells so good too. It smells like gold and a mix of roses. It smells super fancy. It's too good. It's the perfect size. It just fits on any lip. And after about 15 minutes when you take this off, I'm telling you, your lips are so smooth. They're ready for the lip balm or the lipstick, whatever you put on there. So pretty. It's like, it's like gold slime. A little beauty haul for you. Some Halloween makeup, tons of different lippies. I love the frozen spray. We got a little yo-yo balm. And I think my favorite, favorite thing in this whole kit was the vanilla bean frappe balm. It smells so, so good. Ah, it just smells like a coffee. Love it. Of course, I don't like messes. I gotta organize. Let's do it. Pretty much a perfect fit. A little crayon, but it's all in there. I like to keep things organized. I have so many little beauty products. They're flying all over the place. I love these little Dollar Tree things. They're super good. And I'm gonna have so many more cool videos coming up on the show. And if you wanna subscribe to our channel, you can just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.